hello welcome back it's me again today so on this saturday morning i was just thinking to myself mm, what can we make then i opened my storage and i realized that i have some plantain and they're beginning to go bad not extremely bad as you can see this plantain is still fresh but i was thinking mm, this is the perfect recipe for dodoikiri i don't know if you remember those days if you're traveling along you know lagos ibadan express road especially when we're going to ibadan from lagos to spend my early days with my grandma my granddad um i love i love you know when those girls come around that toll gate about the toll gate right and you can get um dodoikiri mm, oh my goodness and then they used to sell those eggs as well my mom used to buy the eggs as well and the the, the curry for me and then bread and whatnot but my own out of all these things eh you see the the, the curry and um you know this um um kokoro the one made from dried maize mm, you see they were my best ones so but today i'm focusing on the the curry hmm, that kokoro maybe story for another day so i was just thinking mm, let me make the the curry from this so and I had all the perfect recipe at home. I had the almost rotting plantain. I had onions. I had palm oil. And I had the seeded dried pepper from Nigeria. So why not? Let's get cracking. So first, you know, chop your um, plantain. Make it chunky, right? Because you're still going to, it's all still going to shrink anyway. So chop it up. Get your palm oil, put some diced onions in there, let it get hot, okay? And then pour in your um, plantain, okay? And then you're going to be frying for a long time because you have to fry it until it is almost dry. Not too dry now because if it's too dry, it's just going to be crispy in the mouth. So just ensure that there's still a little bit of moist so you can have that chewy you know texture from it so why are you frying it okay remember i said you have to cut it really chunky really big sizes yeah so while you're frying it then you have to use your spoon yourself to sort of chop it in the oil okay while you're frying it so you just keep frying okay um until it begins to shrink it's going to get to a point that it gets like proper proper it gets really really tiny this all amounts now you're gonna see by the end of the day while we're done with this you're gonna see how small it's gonna be okay so after that we're gonna add some uh, some salt okay and then we're gonna add our pepper our chili pepper and then stay together keep stirring and stirring and stirring and don't go too far away from it because if you go too far away from it, it's gonna get burnt okay now see it's changed color almost dark but not very black yet and also ensure that you're frying on a low heat okay because if it's too hot okay what's gonna happen is the plantain is gonna get black on the outside and then the inside of it is not properly cooked so we don't want to do that okay so now it's ready now i'm supposed to use a funnel but i do not have a funnel so what i did is if you've got a dishwasher at home okay there is this thing that looks like funnel that you always have in your dishwasher so what i did was add some foil to cover it up and then put in my baking paper and you know find cause a hole to be inside of it and just looks like funnel now if you don't have that you can always use foil as well either to shaping it into the funnel shape or you can just make it all round okay so you can make it round as well who says the curry cannot be round i i'm sure i've bought one before that the shape was round rather than the normal you know funnel um triangular shape that we normally have and look at that it's just perfect it's perfect so you can either have it round or you can have it the funnel shape okay i mean i've got both on this occasion okay so let me advertise my buy a sweet and a cure to the cure ray i'm sure you're familiar with okay let me go with my shenanigan bye <laughs>